First, SpaceX and NASA are hoping the third time will be the charm tonight. We are yet again just a few hours from the launch of four astronauts to the space station from the Space Coast. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Ank and glad you're with us on this Sunday. The Crew 8 mission was scrubbed first on Thursday, then again last night, all because of bad weather. And now we're trying again for 10.53 p.m. Our New 6 Space Coast correspondent James Barvero is back at the Kennedy Space Center. So, James, is it going to happen tonight? I hope so, Eric. The weather is much better. That's the good news. That's what we should focus on. Conditions just 40% yesterday. So when that scrub came down as the astronauts were getting suited up and they said it was because of the wind, we weren't so surprised. Tonight, on the other hand, it's much more likely that weather will not be a problem. That's because right now at launch pad 39A with the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and Crew Dragon and Jet Endeavor capsule, they are at a 75% chance of a go. That's the conditions report right now. 75%, much better than 40. Video from last night showed the three first-time space flyers who will be on Crew 8. That's Matt Dominic, Jeanette Epps, and cosmonaut Alex Grabenkin all suiting up. The only spaceflight veteran in those crew quarters is Dr. Michael Barrett. He's an astronaut and a physician. He specializes in space medicine. He even authored a book on that. Dr. Barrett first went to space in 2009 on the Russian Soyuz. Then two years later, just months before the retirement of the space shuttle, he also flew on Discovery. When we came down here to watch Discovery be ported away from here, the Kennedy Space Center was very quiet. Uh, it was so empty <laughs> compared to what we were all used to for all this time. And we were all pretty sure that, that KSC was going to come back, uh, but we had no idea how much. Uh, I would say KSC has come back with a vengeance. And I think that's fair to say, considering we might have 100 launches this year at, here at the Cape, which would be another new record. And then this is already the second astronaut launch of this year. We could see as many as six in total before the year is over. Again, the big mission tonight to the space station, the six-month science mission relieving Crew 7. If everything stays on track, it's on target for 1053. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.